Hello and welcome to another edition of Little Port and East Cam's Academy Community News. It's a chance to share many of the good things happening at the Academy over the last week. Uh, and a chance to say a big thank you to some of the students and to the staff for their contributions um, to, to children's education. Um, first few things for me, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Miss Elliot and Miss Richardson, who have um, both secured an Associate Assistant Principal role here at the Academy. Um, their remit will be, uh, Mrs Elliot will be overseeing the whole school SMSC um, and uh, social, moral and, social, and spiritual and cultural education um, alongside the, P uh, the PSHE curriculum. Um, whereas uh, Miss Richardson will be overseeing the student voice. Um, so we're going to be that raising engagement um, of the students and getting them more their say back into uh, back into the, the academy. So I'd like to thank everybody for the support and I wish them every luck in, in their new roles. Um, other things, there shout outs for um, from staff. This is from Mr. Hughes. So well done to our PE ambassadors. Delivered their pitches to the uh, to the Living Sport panel this week. They were really outstanding and demonstrated the time and effort they put in. So well done to Libby, Lauren, Rosie in year eight, delivered a confident pitch, um, looking for a thousand pounds set up the new gymnastics and dance club. Theo, uh, Oscarus and Ben want to use their budget for a foot golf course on the school field. Um, Casey, Summer, Esme and Millie were looking for funding to run a glow in the dark uh, capture the flag club. Um, the two finalists were Neve, Maya, Tom, Caleb in, in year 10 and Logan and Tay in year 8. The former were pitching for the new martial arts boxing club and the latter set up a kinball, a very unique Canadian sport. Um, these pitches were both outstanding and were incredibly difficult to pick them apart. The difficult decision was made after much deliberation and a £1,000 funding was delivered to Tay and Logan to deliver a kinball at Lecca. So well done to all involved. So well done to all those students. It's amazing the opportunities they have just to pitch, the confidence they build um, by, by having this process. And the outcome is everyone will benefit because they access to a new kinball and access to a whole new sport. It's from Miss Elliot. A massive well done to the Year 10 Child Development students for being, uh, for being diversity champions this week whilst learning sign language uh, to We Wish You a Merry Christmas, which they will all be teaching the children at Stepping Stones. The Year 11 Child Development students have been very innovative this week in response to creating a puppet and accompanying story as part of their learning demonstrations. And in all of 10D, for a fantastic start to a form advent, seeing students support uh, one another with positive affirmations of made, um, have made a really proud as their form tutor. So well done everybody in, in, in those groups. And this is from Mr. Jones. Excellent work from the Year 11 engineering students as they built their evidence portfolios. You can see examples at Lecker's Facebook and Twitter accounts. I mean, today, this, um, this week, we had some kind of drop down days for uh, the engineering group. So they've had a real two full out days of actually making sure they, they boost their work and working to actually get uh, lots of evidence and getting their coursework complete. So although our fantastic Year 10 performing arts students have also had to postpone their workshop production of Cinderella, they still continue to show resilience and professionalism during rehearsals and have rescheduled the performance for January. Um, he said, we shall go to the ball. And our fantastic Year 11 performing arts students have now completed their internal examination components with outstanding uh, provisional results. They too have shown true professionalism during their rehearsals and, up for, uh, and, and their up for coming showcase for their early examination monologues and extracts on Blood Brothers scheduled for early January. So and this is from Miss Easton. Well done. A shout out to Tyler in year nine for having an amazing week and persevering with targets set and building relationships with his teachers. Also for the prefects for continuing to be excellent role models and enthusiastically communicating student voice. And this is from Miss Gonzalez. So Charlotte in year 10 for a total change of mindset in Spanish and to do her best in, life, uh, in every lesson. And Alaya for her efforts in Spanish for joining the two clubs this week. And Hannah in year 11 for a brilliant results in mocks in Spanish. So it's, she's so proud of her work. And this is from Miss Bellaby. So well done to Damon in year eight, inspired of the week for staying on task and working hard in art. And then Elsie in year nine, inspired of the week for excellent imaginative sketchbook presentation and annotations. So well done to everybody there. We also have so this is well done for, this is from um, Miss Starling. So we've had some fantastic librarians. I think you can, you probably see, if you haven't been in the academy recently, we've invested quite heavily in the library with Drop Everything and Read. Um, but also we've had uh, invested heavily in terms of uh, Accelerated Reader. We spent close to around 40,000 pounds on making sure we have the right stock for your children. 
and to make sure they have access to the right reading material, the right opportunities to read, so they can continue in terms of making um, making that that progress. But we've got some great library student librarians. So we've got Hattie, Jess, Alice, Kai, Hannah, Sarah, and Peyton in Year Eleven, and then Denny in Year Ten are fabulous librarians who have been carrying out some vital work. So they've been labelling, preparing bookstock for students to use. So well done from um, everybody there. And finally, um, what we have is what well, my final announcement really. So we've got, so we're coming up on the 10th, we have our Christmas jumper day. Now it's a, not a non-uniform day. So they'll wear the normal uniform with a Christmas jumper. And there'll be a cash donation bucket on the day. Um, and we will be sending the link about expectations. And the expectations is still everything else we do for school is as normal. We are just wearing a Christmas jumper in addition to their school uniform so they can attend. Nothing else in terms of additional makeup or anything other else It's just the Christmas jumpers. So we look forward to um, working, with, um, working with the students over the next week, making sure they continue to make the, the rapid progress that they are making. Um, and I look forward to sp speaking to you all again next week. Thank you.